Bam! How's it going guys? Token Vaping with another flavor review. Um, this is coming from a company based out of New York and as I grew up in New York, it is what I still consider my home state, so I always love doing stuff that is associated back with that state. Name of the company, Clown Liquids. I've done a few videos on them already if you've checked out my other videos on them. Uh, they are uh, have a website, it's clownliquids.com states it down here and then if you do want to purchase it it will shoot you over to um, baddistribution.com which is the in-house distribution company uh, for clown and a few other lines and you'll see some of the um, some of the other lines that are on there and you will be impressed by them because I know you've heard of them I know you've seen them um, but I bet you're not you probably didn't know they were all you know within the set or distributed on the same site so it's definitely cool to see because there's a lot of top quality lines um, that are on that site however clown liquids is the one that we are working on today and as I stated I have done a few of these already um, this in my opinion and that's all this is I'm not trying to tell anybody what to think or what to what to how to take to this and everything else but in my opinion this is strongly a contender for one of the best candy based flavor lines on the market simply because of the fact that while the flavors are pretty strong they're not sugary tasting at least in my opinion i'm not a candy flavor vapor by choice um so to be completely honest with you um this probably isn't a line that you you would see in like my personal shelf, but quality wise, flavor wise, cloud production wise, um, it's all rock solid. The flavors are are very strong, like I said, but they're not they're not as sugary tasting as you would expect a candy flavor to taste. They are a bit smoother for a candy flavor, but they produce the flavor that they're meant to. And from a lot that I have tried, that's kind of not as easy to do as you would think. Um, a lot of times, if if um, it's supposed to be a candy flavor, it's going to come off really, really sweet, or it's going to come off in a way that it's go it, it, it'll basically gunk up your coils or your cotton and things like that. Um, and this is one of the few lines that I've come across, having tried, that doesn't leave that really. I guess you want to say like that really sugary aftertaste um, to where you feel like there's a lot of extra stuff in the in the vape juice than needs to be but this is the bottle and I love their logo art um, it's a kind of a twisted take on clowns obviously clown liquids but it's not your the clowns that you know they do have a more adult darker uh, twist on them and honestly for for the line itself I think it works but this one is Laffy and that is the flavor art for that one as you can see it is safety sealed here so it is a first vape first review now if you go to the website for bad distribution and you do purchase these they are available in a 60 and a 120 um, and that's just because of the, all the regs that are coming out and everything else a lot of companies are switching to the bigger sizes um, so that you you get more for your money and your purchase so that it becomes a better deal so a lot of companies are starting to switch up to the the 60 mil size and the 120 mil size so just to give you an upfront warning about that these are available in a zero a three and a six um, and they are on Facebook Instagram and Twitter as well so you can definitely find them all over the place on uh, social media but this is their label it is in a three nicotine right here it does say made in New York there is the warning and ingredient labeling as well so as I said it is safety sealed so it is a first vape first review it will be going on some fresh cotton right here, which as always, and you know if you watch my videos, my cotton is Texas Tough Cotton. Um, it just holds up really well for me, especially when I need it to produce uh, solid flavor. And I like it mainly because even on a first vape, it doesn't have a very strong cottony taste to it. So usually I get mostly flavor off the first couple of break-in vapes so to speak and then it's all flavor after that on some flavors I've had the luck that where it's been all flavor right out the gate so it's actually been really cool to work that way for it um, but I'll put that link in the comment box if you're interested in trying out the cotton as well so this is Laffy and again just like the uh, the, the the rest of the line so far it has a very strong candy sugar smell and taste but it does not have the 
overly sugar taste like that's all you're tasting. You actually do get flavor out of this. Um, the flavor profile for a Laffy is a blueberry taffy, hence Laffy, um, doused with grape, uh, with gooey grape. So it's going to have a grape blueberry uh, taffy taste to this. And I definitely smell the grape. Um, the blueberry, surprisingly, it's not as strong on the inhale as I thought it would be. Most flavors that I've I've tried that have blueberry in it, you definitely smell the blueberry. But on this one, I get more grape, um, which is not a bad thing. Um, it definitely is on the inhale. It's definitely going to be a bit harder to decipher the difference in the in the flavors because you're just smelling it. You're not so much um, inhaling it, but um, or vaping it. Sorry. However. As long as flavor-wise you do get the blueberry, you do get the grape aspect of it, then it's going to work in its favor regardless. So, see on a pre-burn, I definitely smell the grape, but there's a slight bit of blueberry. So we'll see in the vape itself um, whether or not that you, you taste both of them or if one is definitely going to be stronger than the other. And then we're going to see how, or I'm going to see how sweet this is comes off as. So I'm going to go ahead and cap this up. And as always, I'm vaping at 75 watts. So this is Laffy from Clown Liquids. So as you can see, the clouds are pretty dense. Um, and it's not marked on the bottle, but as far as uh, thickness-wise and everything else, I'll put this at about a 70-30, maybe a 75-25 pushing it, but I think it's in the 70-30 range. So the clouds are definitely going to be pretty decent, uh, but evened out with the flavor. Now, I'm going to say this, and this is going to de definitely be a big feather in the hat for clown liquids. Uh, even at a 70-30, because it's a candy-based flavor, there is absolutely no throat hit. None. And that was, that's off uh, the second hit off of a fresh wick. Absolutely no throat feel at all for me and I'm pretty sensitive to the throat throat hits on some flavors so that's that's a huge bonus for me um, coming out of that line okay so as you can see the clouds are pretty solid they are dense they're not wispy they're not it doesn't feel like you're not getting a whole lot out of the vape um, but I'm gonna juice this up a little bit more get one or two more good hits out of it and then I will give you a rundown real fast on the flavor off of this okay so flavor wise you definitely taste the grape. I mean, the grape pretty much, for the most part, on my tongue, the grape was pretty solid throughout the undertone and uh, the after, the aftertaste, the exhale part of it. The blueberry, you do taste on the beginning of it, but it is a lot more subtle than I was expecting it to be, which does work in this in this element, um, only because it's supposed to be more of a taffy, so it's going to have a, it's supposed to have like a chewy slight creamy taste to it um, and it's not supposed to be overpowering um, with the the fruity flavor aspect of the blueberry so this definitely works in this realm for um, a candy flavor so if you're looking for the blueberry to be like the center stage flavor or if you're looking for it like in um, the way that it comes off in like a, a fruit based flavor it's not going to hit you the same way in, in that sense at least in my opinion um, it definitely is a more subtle blueberry, but you still do taste it. The grape does uh, punch a bit harder than I've tasted it in some other flavors. And then there's a slight creaminess on the uh, on the undertone of it uh, to emulate the taffy aspect. So it is a creamier candy flavor, but it's not creamy like a custard or a yogurt. Um, but in all honesty... I haven't eaten it too much in my lifetime, but if you've ever eaten flavored taffy, that's the creaminess. I mean, they've gotten that flavor down pretty good for this. It basically does taste like taffy. Um, so if you like candy-based flavors, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed with the Clown Liquid lines. Definitely check them out. Um, 
it, it's a huge honor and privilege regardless to be able to do the reviews on a line such of, as this nature. Clown Liquids, thank you so very much. Definitely check them out, clownliquids.com, um, baddistribution.com or baddistro.com if you want to purchase the flavors, if your shop does not carry them. If they do not carry them and they are interested in carrying a good candy line, definitely suggest this line to them. Have them reach out to Clown Liquids. Um, you can email them. You can, like I said, Instagram, Facebook, uh, website. You can definitely reach out to them. It's a huge honor and privilege regardless of anything else. I will put the links for Bad Distribution and Clown Liquids in the comment box along with uh, the Texas Tough Cotton as well if you are interested. As always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I myself can do to help enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you. That's the only reason why I do these. That's the enjoyment that I get out of them is helping others as best I can. So if there's a specific question or comment concern that you had, if there was a video on a particular flavor you were looking for, um, a device, I'm starting to try to work more with those as well. Um, definitely reach out to me. Let me know. I will do everything in my power to uh, answer those questions as best I can. Um, and help you help you out as much as possible but until next time no matter what morning noon night always remember truly love yourself vape on vape strong have a good day guys